Uh, today's what, the fifth? Nine. Nine days. Nine days left. Are we gonna make it? There's still no engine. But, what have we done, babe? There's an engine. <laughs> it's just not in yet. <laughs> um, I think the last time we saw this, it was just, it was stripped down and clean and sanded and ground and ready to rock. Since then, we've done a coat of, uh, in the trouble spots, we hit it with some rust encapsulator to kill the rust as best we could. Um, wasn't too bad. I was very happy about that. Um, then we went over it with a two-stage uh, primer, two-part primer, nice hard primer. And then... Uh, products from Eastwood? Yeah, from Eastwood. Good stuff. Uh, came in a rattle can, had a little button on the bottom of it. Boom. Like, no mixing. It was great. I love it. I'm a fan. And then we hit it on top of the primer. We Except hit it with... he's a big advocate of mixing paint very well. If the can says shake for two minutes, he will shake for at least six. Oh, Probably I'd, like ten. I'd say closer to twenty. <laughs> but uh, I'll shake it just as, until I'm damn well ready. And uh, <laughs> I didn't know this when I first started painting. When we painted the Falcon, he had me mix that was just a little quart yeah. size uh, thing of paint. He left me to mix it and he comes back and I'm like, yeah, I'm done. And I showed him, and then we put it in the gun. He didn't, he didn't check me on that one. Um, and then we put it in the gun, and it was spraying like poop. And then he goes back and checks if I'm mixing job, and it was not mixed at all. There was still I like the know. sludge at the bottom of the can that needed to get. You got to get all of the paint gotta mixed get together. It mixed in. Yeah. So, so shake like crazy. Um, find something else to do while you're shaking. Try to be productive. Uh, hit it with two. Uh, same type of two-part paint, but gloss. So now it's all shiny and it's easy. I like the gloss. It's uh, easier to wipe and clean down. The primer stuff always ends up grabbing whatever rag you're wiping it down with. Oh, cool kids like satin and flat, but... It's for the birds. Um, and then we got the control arms and stuff. I got all new bushings, um, put all that stuff together, got it painted. Got all that installed and ready to go. All I need now is springs to go in and the suspension is complete and reinstalled and restored. It's red. It's red. It's really red. It's the same red as the engine. Ford red. <laughs> and yeah. So from what I understand, this thing should just go right together, no problems. And then another news, Studebaker, I chose my cam, took a long, long time figuring all that out and doing the research myself, but I'm really glad that I learned it and made the choice in my own brains rather than just asking people. Um, I'll share more about all that learning um, in later articles, but chose a cam, ordered it, was super excited for it to get in last Friday, right in time for me to do the work that weekend because I gotta change the cam and the rocker arms and stuff and get my engine dialed in before I go get my new transmission built so they can build it how it needs to be. Um, but my parts didn't show up. Called on Friday and they were still at the warehouse. Rule number one, parts never show up on time when you're on a deadline. Never, ever, hardly ever. But, uh, so I'm set back a week. They are now on their way. They should be here on Friday. We'll see if this weekend makes it, and we'll see if the transmission shop finishes that work in time. We got a lot on I our plate. I don't know. We've got a lot on our plate. Nine days to go. I think we can do it. I'm gonna do it. 